Cornell researchers have hacked an off-the-shelf Delta FDM 3D printer, added an Autodesk plugin, and created on-the-fly prints, an interactive prototyping system that prints your designs as you're designing them. Unlike traditional 3D printing, which is built in layers, this new wire print technique extrudes a rope of quick hardening plastic to create a wire frame. The thought is that wire print can speed prototyping by creating a model of the shape of an object instead of printing the entire solid. The printer has five degrees of freedom. So while the nozzle can only work vertically, the printer's stage rotates as the model is built with an extended extruder tip or cut with a retractable cutting blade. The designer can pause anywhere in the process to test, measure, and if necessary, make changes that will be added to the physical model still in the printer. So how quickly does it work? See that, see that little plane with a little Lego guy, little Lego pilot plane? That entire thing took 10 minutes. Sure, it's a low fidelity sketch, but the researchers believe that the approach could improve the quality of the design process by allowing designers to redraw as the project develops. <laughs> Researchers at the University of Missouri have been using motion capture technology to help older adults age in place for more than 10 years, which is nice because it helps you safely live a more independent life as you grow older. Previous work hacked video game systems and used webcams to detect health changes. But two new studies show how radar can monitor walking speed and how bed sensors can measure heart health, all to help catch early warning signs. Both technologies are non-invasive and don't even require a wearable. The radar monitors walking speed to see if grandpa has a fall risk, and the bed sensors provide data on his heart rate, respiration rate, and the overall cardiac activity while he sleeps. The bed sensors are made using a hydraulic transducer, which measures the mechanical effect of the blood flowing through the body as a result of the heart beating. By placing four hydraulic transducers under a mattress, researchers were able to capture cardiac data. The team is now looking for new ways to use sensor tech to improve very early detection of health changes so that health problems can be addressed while they're still manageable. <laughs> new work in the robotics industry has already led to collaborative robots that use new sensor technology to make it safer for humans to work around them. The only issue is their hard plastic enclosure, which, which I'm just gonna arbitrarily refer to as a robodermis. And it limits robots to industrial settings. But a new actuator developed by a team at Harvard's Wyss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering is softer, safer, and it could be the next step towards soft-bodied robots. Man, and you know, what would it feel like? What would it feel like touching that robodermis? Just, what would it feel like that? The researchers have created VAMPS, which stands for Vacuum Actuated Muscle Inspired Pneumatic Structures, which, which I guess is actually VAMIX, but doesn't really have the same promotional punch. Vamps are modeled after the human bicep and use vacuum power to automate soft rubber beams. Previous soft actuators rely on pressurized systems that expand in volume, but Vamps design mimics true muscle because they contract. The actuator is filled with small hollow chambers of air, like a honeycomb. By applying vacuum, the chambers collapse and the entire actuator contracts, generating movement. The internal honeycomb structure can even be custom tailored to enable linear, twisting, bending, or a combination of motions. The team sees a future with robots that are better equipped to assist the disabled or elderly, and it even makes industrial robots safer. Will you just stay on your side? Will you just, don't come. Just wanna put these together and get out of here at a good time. I just wanna, ah! One more time, one more time. I know that you do this all day, but I got a life to lead, and that's gonna bruise. I, I'm David Manti. This is engineering by design. Robodermis, like a working man's robodermis.